Food security is really a very critical issue for Africa. And not just Africa, but I would say all developing countries, because um, the concept of food security, you know, in, in the West is completely different from how we see it, you know, in the traditional developing country systems. I mean, um, here you can always go to the supermarket and you can get whatever you want, how much you want, if you've got the money to, to afford, you know, to buy it. Um, out in developing countries, it's not as easy as that. Food security means continuity of supply. It means, it means being safe and knowing that you know where your next meal is coming from. That's what food security is really all about. Here, it's, it's, a, it's a given, it's a taken, you know. It's a, and the surprising thing about food security also in, in, uh, in most developing countries, Africa in particular, is that it's very, very directly linked to, to, to social security as well. So it's a sense of well-being, you know, not in a conflict area or have to be, to be um, in a place where you are vulnerable to the elements like climatic things and, you know, changes and conflicts and things like that. So security in that general purpose and that general sense. And in government, for one, what we've been doing is to try to link the elements of livestock to food security. Because traditionally, food security is looked upon as, as agriculture, uh, grain products, cereal products, you know, maize, you know, and things like that, uh, guinea corn, and you know, things like that. But there's a lot that has to be said for livestock and making a case for livestock as contributing significantly towards food security.